welcome or welcome back to our channel this is the comfort food haven we are making a simple quick dinner time or any time meal mexican casserole like the video comment and watch to the end to see how we created this dish You can make your own taco seasoning by using the ingredient shown on the screen. Not pictured is the chili powder and the salt. I went ahead and opened the refried beans and added them to a microwave safe bowl with a couple tablespoons of water and just a dash of the taco seasoning. This is going to help us in our steps later on. Then what you want to do is get your brick of cream cheese and eight ounces of sour cream and a half a jar of jalapenos. You can use more or less to your desired heat tolerance. The other thing you can do is use prepared salsa verde to your sour cream and cream cheese mixture. I like the jalapenos better because it makes it so spicy and yummy. Put that all in your blender and you're going to puree it until it's a nice blended up smooth quality. The refried beans are now nice and smooth and ready for us to work with them a little better. Earlier in the video, I was preparing some ground turkey on my stove. I browned it, seasoned it up, drained the fat, and then I'm adding my taco seasoning. So if you're using ground beef, you're definitely going to have a little bit more fat in your meat. So you definitely want to drain that out. Get your casserole dish ready and you want to start by adding some cooking spray to make the cleanup process a little bit easier. Go ahead and start with your ground beef or turkey at the bottom. We're gonna add the refried beans that have been warmed and smooth it all over, almost like you're adding a cake frosting. Up is our sour cream, cream cheese jalapeno mixture to our layering process. And you wanna get that all on top of the beans, nice and smooth, even surface all around. And lastly, of course, no casserole is complete without some cheese on there. So you wanna get your cheeses ready. If you're using Mexican style, taco style, pepper jack, Monterey, Colby, whatever it is, um, I'm using a little bit of both. I have the taco seasoning blend and then I also got some pepper jack cheese, I think, and went in with that and had a very generous layering to my casserole. This is going into our preheated oven of 400 degrees for about 15 minutes or so until, of course, your cheese is nice and melty, golden, and ready to show off with a nice cheese pull, which we will see later on in this video. This next part is optional. You can serve with a little bit of avocado on the side, a lime wedge, sliced green onion, 
or a little bit of cilantro. My husband topped off his plate with some olives. So that's always a good option for Mexican food. Then of course you wanna cut into squares, serve with some tortilla chips, and then basically bone apple to the tea. Like, comment, and subscribe for more comfort food faves from the Comfort Food Haven. Thank you for watching.